Hello, everybody. It is me, Naveboy5499 here, and I am today going to show you how to get every achievement in Fallout 3 in about 10 minutes. Alright, so this requires you to have an Xbox Live account, obviously. So what you're going to do is start up Fallout 3. You're going to hit the home key. You're going to make sure you're signed in. So, yeah, you go sign in. You find your account, and you sign in. And then once you're signed in, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your name tag, make sure everything's going to click K here. What? what, what? Luxembourg? What, what? what? Whatever. I'll deal with it later. Okay. Um, so after you're signed online, everything's going good. You're going to go ahead and click on new. It doesn't matter. Just any new game. So you're going to let load, obviously. It's uh, loading. It doesn't help I'm using this really crappy video capture that's going to be like 10 frames per second. My computer can run this really nicely too. I don't know if you guys can see this. I really haven't tested this out yet. But uh, up up there in the top left corner it says like 11 frames per second right now. Let's go ahead and make that disappear. So we're going to start Fall 3. And it's running at like 11 frames per second. I'm sorry about this, guys. This is kind of crap right now. You'll have to bear with me. There's really nothing I can do about it right now. A lot of clipping. Screen tear. And this is not because my computer is crappy. This is strictly... Because I'm running a recording thing that's making it like 10 frames per second. So please bear with me here. This could take a while. I wish you could skip this cutscene. Oh, wait, did I just skip it? Please say I just skipped it. My screen's black right now. I don't know what's going on with you. Okay, it's white. Okay, we're starting the game. Coming from your mother's womb. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. You can actually don't want to do this. Just hit the tilde key. You better know what that is. A tilde key. If you look on your keyboard right now, while you're watching this video, you will notice that at the very top row of the keys, it says Q-W-E-R-T-Y, QWERTY. Look above that. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's numbers. If you look to directly to the left of the one, it might not be directly to the left, but it should be underneath escape. It should be a little squiggly line, and underneath it maybe a little dot kind of thing. It, that's called tilde key. You're gonna whenever you start the game, just tap that, and you're gonna see this little line down there here. I don't know if you can see my mouse right now, but down here, you're gonna type in add space achieve mint. One, uh, space one. Wait, never mind. I just totally messed that up. You're gonna type in give achievement. I spelled that wrong. Dang it! This is not going so well. One. Okay, that don't work either. 
Okay. Um... I was pretty sure it's add achievement crap. Okay, add achievement one. There you go. I think that I believe that is what you do, and that should give you the first achievement, which is like something, whichever the first achievement is. You go achievement two. Add achieve all the way up to 50. There's like 50 or 49 achievements. So I'm going to do a test here. Because apparently the n latest achievements have come out for the new DLC. I'm going to see if I can get them. Okay, so I believe the new next one should be 55. Let's enter that in and see what happens. Ha ha! Into the pit. I just unlocked that. Add achieve. Meant. 56. As you see, I just got 20 gamer score. I don't even have that DLC. You can get all the achievements for Operation Anchorage, everything. You don't even need, you do not need the DLC to get the achievements for it. I just got not a 40 gamer score right there. And remember, remember guys, you can still go out and buy the DLC for the 360 version of the game and then get the achievements again. This is only for the PC version. The PC version and the console version are completely different get you more achievements. So, you cannot do this with the th uh, 360 version, obviously. But if you want to, you can easily do it for the, uh, for, for the PC version just like this. Very simple process. See, there's no more achievements. Um, 58 is as high as you need to go. Just hit add achievement, 58. Go all the way up from 1 to 58. You will get every single achievement in the PC version. If you go right now, I will show you. I will go to my account. I just passed 39,000. Congratulations. Um, you want to go to you want to go to my games? 50 out of 58 unlock. Okay, I got every single achievement for the PC version as you can see 1200 achievement points unlocked right there for free well not for free because I had to buy the game obviously and then you want to go want to go down let me prove it to you fault 3 again this is the console version I have I have 26 off 54 I haven't really tried that much operation anchorage all these I got all of it I still have some of them locked the, the, they're the same name so you might see your friends list, someone playing Fallout 3 might have it on their list of twice. That is because one of them is the PC version. If you wanted to go ahead and do that, you will get, the, you know, all, you know, all 1,200 gamer score. The, the, the download content isn't even out yet, and I just got all the achievements. So, whenever they release content, you will be able to get the achievements for anyone else. And as you can see... The game is still fully optional. You cannot get banned for this. I need to make that clear to you. In no way possible can you get banned for this. And this is completely optional. Bethesda has even said to the fans that it's completely legible if they want to. Or the fans want to go ahead and do that. They are allowed to go do that. So, just wanted to like help you guys out here. If uh, some people were asking me how I did it. And now I now you know. So, the more you know...